Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro and a couple of days back you saw me you know give you the initial impressions for MIUI 12.5.2 or 12.5.1 for the Poco X3 Pro and a similar update for the K20 Pro. Today we are going to talk about a quick review. Now this is not the lengthy 5 point ROM review system because I was using it casually as my personal device. So you know I might as well thought that give you a real life review as to what all have I experienced, how good is the camera quality and the other things. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where we are more than a thousand members and you can get all the help you need. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so complete review of 12.5 it is. Now, believe it or not, this is how I have been using the phone. I'm not, you know, as I said in one of my previous videos, I don't really pay a lot of attention to the ringtone or to the home screen and stuff like that because I am busy doing stuff with other devices as well. So what you see over here is yes, I am using 12.5.2 with the stock launcher, with the stock, you know, app icons and stuff. And to the left, you do have Google feed. So this is more how like, you know, my personal phone is most of the time from here you do have the notification drawer or the action center as Xiaomi likes to call it you do have your notifications over here so you can swipe between them right and one thing that I'd like to touch upon at the start of the video is that the consistency of dynamic frame rate or dynamic refresh rate has improved substantially because earlier there was a time wherein if I used to go to the dialer or the messaging app things would stutter here and there I'm not saying it is as fluid as a custom ROM but yes it is definitely improved and they have done a pretty good job so you know apart from that what are the other things that I use I you know normally get a lot of phone calls related to work and stuff do have email I do play a lot of games on this so you know that and fast charging and battery backup is something that is very very important for me and I believe this is something that is the case for most of you guys is what you do with your phone so to begin with let's talk about the settings UI and let's talk if there is anything major that has changed now before we you know get there I'm not going to touch on the points which I've already included in the initial impressions video so you can go ahead and watch that because the major changes in this update have been listed in that video this is from a user point of view so the first question do you have any major changes in settings you know as far as 12.5 is concerned now as i said in the initial impressions as well this is a half baked 12.5 update there are changes here and there the system apps and stuff have been added or updated and things have changed for example in the poco x3 pro if you actually go to apps right and you go to uninstalled system apps this is blank but if you see that in the k20 pro you do have a list of apps which are you know mentioned that you can go ahead and reinstall them so you know some features working some features broken even if you go to settings and you go to display and you talk about the refresh rate over here you just have 60 and 120 hertz option wherein if you talk about a custom rom like elite rom plus you do have an option to force enable 90 hertz as well so the only thing that i don't understand is if there is a feature which a developer on his own a single person can enable why would xiaomi not do it because 90 hertz not only gives you smooth UI scrolling it also good gives you good battery life you know and there is there are very few games which support 120 FPS so I really don't see the point there but that's a discussion for another day apart from this in settings the speaker the touch the touch sampling rate all of those features have been working absolutely fine for me the speaker volume clarity has not increased or decreased if that is your question but one important part that I would like to mention over here the camera this morning did give me a couple of force close errors although as far as the camera ui and all the other features are concerned there are no major changes there is nothing at all that has been added to be very very honest everything works as expected portrait mode and all the other things even if you go to more you have all the options like dual video clone long exposure and stuff so i don't really use those you know 
advanced video or camera features from the camera app of the Xiaomi devices but I would say this the camera quality compared to the first ever update with which this phone had launched I think it was 12.0.4 or 12.0.5 Xiaomi have done a decent job they have not improved the clarity per se but the algorithm has been tweaked and it is much more stable but you know one thing that I didn't like this morning was that the camera app was freezing it was giving me camera not connected errors and mind you this is a phone with a complete stock ROM nothing else no mods nothing so I don't really understand on a stable update how could this be happening so you know we, we spoke about the speakers we spoke about the display the touch and we spoke about the camera as well the important part is the battery life and charging experience now charging 33 watt fast charging works as expected absolutely fine no issues there and as far as the battery life is concerned we can have a look right now right so let's go to battery and performance okay as you can see this is something that are connected to the PC so we've been on battery for six hours and we've had around two hours and 21 minutes of screen on time so in my opinion the battery life on this update has been excellent if not the same you know it's the same if not better compared to the previous update so if you are someone who wants a lot of battery life and stuff you, you do see that we did play battlegrounds mobile india for one hour 38 minutes as well and i do use a lot of whatsapp so as far as charging and battery is concerned this update is solid and it's absolutely fine another thing as i mentioned earlier now you see these stutters you would not find them in custom roms and we are not running in 60 hertz mode just to you know go ahead and confirm that right the refresh rate is locked at 120 hertz right so go to the left so I don't know what sort of optimization these guys are doing because Elitrom Plus and some other Mimix and Xiaomi.eu they have better optimization of resources and once even when you let it sit in the background you know it is still lagging so this in my experience the you know option or the feeling was a little better on previous updates excuse this mark over here so as far as the scrolling is concerned in the app drawer and stuff it is absolutely fine but when it comes to google feed it does stutter it you know does reload and stuff like that i don't really know why that is happening apart from this this is your usual poco launcher or whatever you guys call it there are no global app icon animations and if you go to settings and if you go to the launcher settings if you go to about this is the poco launcher 2.2.0.1.34 right you have manage app categories this that all the other options double tap to lock screen all those options are there but the system launcher options are not there although you do have android 10 gestures at the bottom and they are working just fine for me i not really had any problems with the android 10 gestures or any other gestures for that matter so if you go to settings over here and if you go to additional settings you do have the full screen display option you can hide the full screen indicator so all of those things are working absolutely okay for me so you know all in all this won't be a very very long video but what i would like to say is if you want to update to this particular version you can you will be more or less there where you are at already there are no substantial improvements and not so many bugs which will stop you from updating but i will give you a sneak peek into the geekbench score let me also show you the cpu throttle test result of 15 minutes now this right here was done after enabling game turbo so that we get better fps and stuff for better performance but it does say cpu throttle to 71 percent of its max performance so if this test is something you are to go by i would say the earlier updates are doing better 12.5 somehow is reducing some performance but if you talk about gaming gaming has been great for me i will go ahead and do a live stream with this uh you know in the next one or two days even if you talk about geekbench there you go game turbo is enabled this is the score i recently got 755 and 262 it for a stock rom this is a pretty pretty decent score and as i said 
the gaming FPS has been pretty good and uh, on the second channel we will also try something which we don't over here you know what I'm talking about in Battlegrounds Mobile India but all in all this is a pretty decent update not as amazing as Xiaomi was claiming 20 times more rendering power everything is going to be smooth they advertised this as if this is going to be iOS level smooth well they are miles away from that planets away from that so let me know in the comment section what do you think about this update for the Poco X3 Pro will you update or not and what is the custom ROM of your choice for this device and we are welcoming new video ideas if there is a video which you want to see on any of these three devices let me know in the comment section and if it's worth I'll definitely go ahead and make a video until the next one this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps keep smiling take care goodbye